Everyone's obsessed with VO3, but one 2.5 just solved three of its biggest problems. Do you want me to cry? Do you want me to cry? <laughs> the first one, censorship. VO3 is absolutely ruthless with its censorship, where even having the words kid or child in your prompt would stop your creative vision from becoming a reality. But that's just problem number one. One 2.5 solved two more problems that VO3 users have been dealing with for months. The second one is the reason most people can't use VO3 consistently, and the third is what's driving all the hype right now. And by the end of this video, you will know exactly which model to use for your specific projects, so you're never wasting time or credits on the wrong tool again. Here's what changed. After hundreds of generations and comparing 1 to 0.5 with the top models, the most noticeable difference, censorship. You can finally generate creative videos without random blocks and errors every few attempts. Here is a perfect example. I generated this image in mid-journey, but what happened when I tried to use it to generate a video with VO3? It got blocked again and again, even after changing the prompt multiple times. 1 to 0.5 turned it into a video in seconds on the first try. Halloween ads, here we go. Another big issue with VO3 and other models is they restrict children's stories and animations where you have kids in the content. As I said before, simply having the word kid or child in your prompt will prevent VO3 from creating your video. 1 2.5 doesn't have that problem. With 1, it even supports featuring celebrities and uncensored language. That opens creative doors, but remember to use it responsibly. Now let's talk about the real hype, audio and lip sync. The greatest magic is an iPhone. Before this, only VO3 had it, built-in audio, dialogue, lip sync, all in one generation. And now 1 2.5 just matched it, but for a fraction of the cost. And the amount of money you will save is actually quite crazy. You can generate 7 to 10 times more videos with 1 compared to VO3. That means you can literally 7 to 10 times your output without paying more. But cheaper doesn't always mean better. So I ran the test. I took the same image, the same first frame, and tested it on both models. Let's see how they stack up. And I wanted to start with something that really pushes both models, a celebrity character with a complex emotional shift. This tests facial detail, emotional transitions, and whether these models can even handle celebrity characters without blocking them in the first place. Here is what I got. After a few attempts, this is the VO3 result, so the transition feels unnatural, he starts laughing, but when he's supposed to shift to sadness, the emotion stays too subtle. It almost looks like he's still smiling even when he should be crying. The emotional shift just doesn't land. 1 to 0.5's result, this is where it gets impressive. The transition from laughter to tears is realistic, you can see his face quiver, the sadness is strong and authentic. He goes from laughing white to genuinely breaking down. This is a lot more realistic than the result we got from VO3. For this one, 1 to 0.5 is the clear winner. It captured the emotion and nailed the transition. VO3's version felt held back and awkward. But emotion and celebrity handling are just one part of the equation. What about physics simulation? Next up, we have money falling and stacking on a table. VO3 did better with the build size and proportions relative to the table. You will see the 1 to 0.5 results in a second. The face on the bill, however, isn't as clear, but overall VO3 did a really good job. 1 to 0.5 generated bigger bills, maybe a bit too big for the table, but the physics look great. The bills stack accurately and the faces, they are more consistent and clearer than VO3. But size and proportions are just one test. What happens when we throw complex motion and shadows at both models? That's where things get interesting. For the next test, we have a cauldron filled with a green liquid bubbling and a shadow of a witch on the wall. I used in painting in mid journey to create this version. The goal, the cauldron should be bubbling and cooking while the shadow dances on the wall. The camera should have a slow and subtle movement. Both models did well, but the best result came from 1 to 0.5. VO3 gave the witch an extra hand, the camera motion and bubbles were decent, but nothing special. 
Now, how did 1.2.5 do? It produced a more consistent shadow with fluent movement, the camera motion was smoother and the bubble effects look more realistic. One didn't do a perfect job, but the fact that it nailed the shadow and delivered exactly what I asked for is impressive. Now you probably didn't notice this, but the video 1 to 0.5 generated was actually 10 seconds long, which is 2 seconds more than VO3's 8 second limit. That might not sound like a lot, but that's 25% more content per generation, which means less extending, fewer stitches, and way more coherent videos without all the manual work. But here's what surprised me. Those two extra seconds can actually make or break certain types of shots, especially when there is continuous motion that needs time to complete naturally. Let me show you an example. Now, this took quite a long time to finally generate using VO3. As I mentioned before, as soon as you have a kid in your image or mention it in the prompt, there is a high chance it won't go through with VO3's guardrails. It was much easier with 1 2.5. It got it on the first try. Both models generated great videos, but here is why those two extra seconds really matter. 1 2.5's 10 second version lets the scene develop naturally, the owl's flight feels complete, the boy's movement doesn't get cut off mid-action. VO3's 8 second version, it is still good but you can feel where it stops and it is a much shorter video. And after running dozens of these head-to-head -head tests, I'm starting to notice a pattern about when 1 2.5 wins and when VO3 still has the edge. But I wanted to push both models even further before drawing any final conclusions. What happens when we test something more complex? Multiple camera angles in a single generation. Now I wanted to test something different and this is called a multi-shot prompt. One starting image, but the camera switches perspectives throughout. Here is the test. The prompt asks for a close-up of the man, then a lizard, then the camera moves up, showing more of the cowboy. One 2.5 attempted all three angles. It works, but it's not the cleanest execution. VO3 did better here even though the video is shorter. The different shots are more coherent, the lizard movement looks more realistic and the audio makes a real impact. For this test, VO3 takes it. Even though 1 2.5 gives us longer videos, it's not always better when complexity increases. Which made me wonder what's an even harder test or something more complex that I could throw at both models. A scene with dozens of people, constant motion, complex lighting and reflections all at once. Now let's test the ultimate challenge. A complex scene with dozens of moving elements. A busy Tokyo street at night should give us all of that. Let's start with VO3. VO3 delivers a beautiful consistent video, the camera motion is smooth, the movement looks natural and the reflections and lighting stay true to the original image. Now here is 1 2.5 with the same starting frame. You can immediately see the difference. The style shifts to more of a watercolor look, we lose some quality, the motion and people stay consistent but it's not as detailed. So I tried another variation with 1 2.5, this time I added keywords like detailed faces and consistent appearance to force more close-ups. This time we get lots of close-ups and judging the face consistency and detail 1 2.5 actually did a good job. But then you have this moment where a man's head just rotates 180 degrees and walks the other way. That breaks the realism. Here is another 1 2.5 variation where the motion looks better. Now back to VO3 with the adjusted prompt. VO3 delivers amazing motion right off the bat. Three people crossing the street from the right side we don't see their faces as clearly because of how fast they move, but it looks more realistic and consistent overall. For complex scenes like this, VO3 takes it. But here is what I noticed. 1 2.5 seems to handle faces and expressions better when you push for close-ups. And after running all these tests, from simple physics to emotional breakdowns to full CD scenes, that pattern I mentioned earlier is now crystal clear. So let me give you that decision framework I promised at the start. So you can pick the right model for each project, avoid wasting credits on the wrong tool and actually get the quality you need without having to guess.
Based on all these tests, here is what you need to know. VO3 wins on proportion accuracy in specific scenarios, complex scenes with many moving elements, multi-shot sequences with camera angle switches, lighting and reflection accuracy, final polish for videos you have already created. VO3 loses on ruthless censorship that blocks creative projects, 7 to 10 times higher cost, 8 second limit, takes multiple attempts to generate certain prompts. 1 2.5 wins on creative freedom without blocks, 10x more generations for the same cost, 10 second videos, better physics and motion, consistent details, smoother camera work, facial expressions and close up detail. And it actually generates what you want on the first try. And what it loses on is the proportion accuracy, which can be off in some cases, multi-angle transitions feel less polished, complex scenes with many elements lose quality and detail. This year has been crazy for AI video model improvements, there is a new model dropping every week and a platform that gives access to all these new models consistently is Higgsfield. They are currently running a limited time offer with unlimited generations on 1 2.5 plus models like Kling 2.1 and Seadance. There are also daily free runs for everyone. I've put a link in the description if you want to check it out. If you found this helpful, let me know which model you're testing first and drop a comment if there are other AI models you want me to compare like this. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay ahead. Bye bye.